welcome to RC Industry. Hey, it's Rick here. So, I uh, kind of wanted to get you caught up with what's going on in the master bathroom. Been kind of busy, haven't done a whole lot, but I'm going to work on it today because today's Labor Day. And aren't you supposed to work on Labor Day? Anyway, I really don't think so. But, that seems like this is the day. So come along and I'll show you where we're at with the bathroom. Okay. Um, I don't remember the last time we were working on the bathroom in here, but I'll show you what I've got done so far. All right. So we got the new uh, frame put in around the window and uh, we got the recess lighting put in one there and one there right there yeah and this is the uh, heater and light that was originally in here then we added a light back here in the shower okay and then we added an exhaust fan because this room didn't have one wasn't required to it had a bathtub and all as long as you have a window that opens uh, with a bathtub or a shower that's adequate but I wanted an exhaust fan so this one is fixed with this little switch here so it does two or three things one is you can turn the fan on and off if you want the other is is uh, when you turn the fan off you set the amount of time you want it to run so I've got it set for like 30 minutes and then the other feature that this has is it has a humidistat in it so if the room I've got it set at like uh, 60 percent so if the room gets more than 60 percent humidity it automatically kicks on because the idea of this has two functions one is to get keep the humidity out of this bathroom when you take showers and all that kind of stuff and the other is you know if you do something over here which is where the commode sits and it smells you can turn it on and it will suck all that out so so that is the purpose of the fan and um, so I don't remember I think we were framing this shower up the last time so I'll kind of go over what we got here we have uh, of course the big rain head shower will be up here hanging down and the controls for that are here hot and cold on off and then this is a diverter valve that you can turn one way or the other one way would be for this the other will be for the handheld shower wand that will be over here on this side and then the rod that that hangs on runs between these two places okay and uh, you'll see more of that as we get going so I've already came in here and put my seal on this uh, uh, fluter system um, built our little cavities here for things to you know all the trinkets to sit here that you have to have in the shower there'll be a couple of hooks up here that'll get put in uh, for towels and bathing suits and stuff and then uh, let's see oh yeah then we've got a handrail that goes from here to here and you know you can see that this is big enough that you can put a shower chair in this is 48 inches wide it may not look that way on here on the film but it is, it is. so that way uh, if we ever have to have a shower chair in here uh, you'll have the handheld shower wand right here and the shower chair so um, the curb is only um, four and a half inches it'll be five total once the top piece gets put on there so you should be able to you won't be able to roll a wheelchair in here but you would be able to possibly step up with help and get over into this area to get cleaned if you were to need to do that um, we put the window back in because we liked this piece of glass because it matches the glass that's over there 
and uh, that helps let light into the shower area and this piece over here lets light get into the hallway uh, in the master suite so it's just kind of a neat idea it was already here built in the 50s so I just put it back okay so um, today what we're going to do is we're going to finish seaming all of these seams when we have to put uh, little patches on here and of course on all the seams and we're going to seam it from about here down from here up I mean if you're getting water up there you're purposely spraying something so I'm not too worried about that but all of these corners we have these little pieces that come with the Schluter system that sit in the corners you grout those all in and this seals this all up once we get all of this sealed with this stuff then we will of course let it dry and then we'll uh, cap this drain off and we'll put about four inches of water in here maybe three and we'll mark it with a pencil line across here somewhere and then we'll let it set 24 hours and make sure it's not leaking and if it doesn't go down then we'll drain it out of there and then we can start laying tile in the bathroom shower out here we you saw the video where we put the concrete board down so the first thing we've got to do out here is we've got to get all this debris out of here and we've got to get the kitchen or I mean the kitchen counter yeah we got to get the bathroom cabinets back in here setting in here because if you remember correctly from the original video there was a gap here two foot gap and then a cabinet over here well now we want this cabinet over here so that means we got to build a curb up to meet this four inch concrete curb that I had the guys leave in here when they demoed this bathroom so we'll have to build a piece here set the cabinets in here mock them up make sure they all work right it's all going to work right and then we'll take the cabinets back out of here and uh, we can start laying we'll put the heat the heating uh, pad down and we'll connect the wires that will go up through there got a string in here to pull the wires up we'll connect the thermostat to that and then we can lay the floor tile down and then we're going to lay the floor tile in the base of the shower and then we'll grout all that and then we'll come back in here and we can start laying the wall tile but before we do any of that we are going to get the trim all painted all around every place and we're going to get the walls from about here up painted and we're going to paint the ceiling because I want to get all that done before we start putting stuff on the floor so alright so uh, I'll show you a little bit of uh, how to put the patch uh, stuff over all of the mounting brackets in this shower we're just trying to make sure that we don't get any leaks you know we don't want it leaking five years down the road if it leaks 35 years down the road I don't really care but I don't want it to leak five years down the road so so we're gonna do it right and uh, okay thanks for coming along I'll show you more okay I know you've watched me do this in previous episodes so uh, I'm not gonna get too busy with it uh, looks like I got a helper with helping me are you gonna help okay anyway so got my trial mixed me up some thin set this is the thin set that actually is recommended from the Schluter system so that's why I'm using their water based I guess you mix it with water based uh, product because that's what they recommend and they also want you to use of course all of their products this is a this is a a um, kind of like fiber it's got some kind of fiber in it I don't know if it's fiberglass but it's you know it's just a roll sheet goods and you cut it and you put it on here I know you've seen me use it before so let's uh, put you up here where I'm at and we'll patch up a couple of areas here I'll probably uh, just fast forward through this and you can watch me so all right here we go Yeah! I was minding my own affairs. 
there. I had a different skull in my mouth. Didn't have no hair. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to scuffle. I'm just headed down the street. Doing the crack house. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all this up, all along here and up through this way and everywhere, and around this, and um, I'll uh, show you when I get done. Are you helping Tallulah? Alright, well as you can see, well there's Gunner too, he's helping too. Alright, as you can see I got everything done, got all the corners, got inside here done. So we are ready to start laying tile. Well, first, of course, we'll do the floor pan, and we have to put in the drain. The first section of floor tile back here with the drain, and there's a collar that goes down over it, so that's a waterproofer as well. So we'll uh, have to do that little section first, let that dry, and then we can lay the rest of the tile. But first, once this dries, 24 hours, then we'll plug it up and run some water in it like we talked about. All right, so let's start painting the ceiling. getting as much done as I wanted to get done to this weekend but I did get a coat of prime on the trim and oh looks like I missed a spot right there well wouldn't you know it and uh, I did uh, yesterday we got all this done and today I have filled it up with not filled it up but I have put water in there and you can see back over here where I've drawn a line where the water levels at and I also did it right there it'll focus in so we'll let that set until tomorrow and if it hasn't went down any and that means we've got no leaks so I'll pull the plug back out and let this dry out then we'll get in here and we're going to paint the ceiling and then we're going to paint the walls down to well, somewhere along in here all the way around because the rest of this gets tile so yeah it's some, someplace about like that but I want to go ahead and get it painted and uh, get the trim painted and then we'll start laying tile probably like I said earlier we're going to do the shower floor a drain little section at the drain first um, then we'll do the floor and the shower and then we're going to lay the heating pad down hook it up up here test it make sure it works and then we'll start laying the floor tile Thanks for coming along. The master bathroom remodel is still underway. So be sure and share and like. And thanks for watching. Bye. I was coming back home. Had my own affair. I 
I still had that little stove. Still didn't have no hair. Here come that fella with that knife. All he wanted to do was scuffle. I'm gonna kick his ass. Doing the crack house shuffle, shuffle. Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby. 